What's up guys, it's me again Crushed Pixel. Today I tried to recreate the trouble in Mineville chests in vanilla Minecraft and I must say I'm very happy with the result I came up with. So first things first. Um, let us have some theory. How does a trouble in Mineville chest work and what should it do? So the first thing that happens is a player right clicking a chest. So then a randomizer selects what item the player should get. Whether he should get a bow or a sword. And if he gets a sword, there is another randomizer selecting which sword he gets. So a stone sword or a wooden sword. And now that we know which item the player should get, um, we're going to test if the player already has the item. If he does have it, um, he won't get one and the cl the chest should be closed for him so the next player can try and right click or he just spams um, the, uh, the right mouse um, key uh, to try and get another item as fast as possible before other players come and steal it. And if he has an item, no if he does not have the item, um, we're going to give this item to him and destroy the chest. So. Let me just demonstrate that. Uh, here's my chest. I'm just going to grab one to replace, to replace this later. And... So I got a stone sword. Cool. So what now happened was I right clicked. The randomizer selected a sword. It gave me a stone sword. I did not have the item and it destroyed the chest. So I will just try it again. Now I get a bow and 46 arrows, 64 actually. So if I am very lucky I'm now going to get a wooden sword but I'm pretty sure that won't happen. Yeah, just nothing happened. Let me just try it again. Yeah, now it worked. And if I now do, um, do right click the chest, nothing is ever going to happen again because I already have all of the items. So this is all of the redstone behind it. It may look like much, but actually it's just a repeating pattern. So, let me just explain it. What happens if the player right-clicks the chest? Well, first of all, it's going to put an output down below here. And because this is a trap chest, so... Yeah, damn it. Uh, this just outputted a signal. And... This signal activates this dropper which will either put a wooden sword or a redstone dust in that hopper up here. And if it's a wooden sword, the comparator will actually, because a wooden sword is not stackable, output a signal strength of 2, activating both of the redstone dusts. Otherwise, um, if it only has the redstone dust in it, um, it's just going to activate this block here, with the redstone. So let's say the first thing happens, um, telling um, the dropper that uh, the hopper that he now has a wooden sword in it. So this would be this choice here. Now um, we have a bow selected. So both of these dust turn on, um, disabling this redstone torch, and this is just a simple end gate, so if a redstone signal, com signal comes from here, both of the end, uh, it has a signal strength of 2, both of these torches will get deactivated. Um, um, making this redstone disabled, activating this torch here. So that's just what an end gate does. Um, what happens then is we have to test if the player already has the item. So we're going to clear him from a Minecraft bow with the data value zero um, and the damage, uh, no, and the count of zero. So we're not actually removing it if he has one, but we're just testing if he has one. And if so, this comparator is going to give an output, making this repeater disable that repeater here. So this is going to turn into a locked repeater then. 
I'm um, basically uh, making it impossible for it to power these command blocks if a redstone signal comes from here, which is going to happen instantly. So, so yeah, um, if the player already has an item, it's impossible for that repeater to activate and give the player an unbreakable bow, uh, some arrows and just remove that chest we have there using a set block air command and I'm just going to demonstrate that by simply moving that redstone so in every case it's going to uh, try and give me a sword uh, a bow I'm sorry trap chest please just going to put it there and I'm going to show it again you see this repeater was able to um, turn on and now this is a locked repeater and yeah I think that's pretty awesome so let's just try this again with the um, let's say there's only the redstone inside so what's going to happen then is this is not going to turn on and output uh, the redstone torch here but rather um, what's going to happen is this repeater will try to turn on if actually the redstone signal strength is 2 um, it's going to deactivate this repeater here um, again with the locked repeater technique so if this end, end gate turns on it's actually going to lock this one but if not so if the strength is only 1 this repeater can uh, turn on starting another randomizer because now we have to decide whether we get a stone sword or a wooden sword and this then just use the same technique here a locked repeater if um, the output is uh, only two it's going to lock the output of uh, of the only one uh, signal strength and if not so if uh, again the redstone dust gets chosen um, it's trying to clear a stone sword from me again using the same technique as I used at, um, with the bow giving me an unbreakable stone sword or at least in theory uh, I have somehow forgot to add that and removing the chest ah, I can actually just do that like this I'm sorry and yeah so otherwise it's just going to do the same thing uh, with a wooden sword and it's going to give me a wooden sword so the last question is why um, do they have to be unbreakable well the reason is pretty simple in order to be able to define the count of items that the command block or the slash clear command should look for uh, let's just say I have minecraft colon bow I have to give a data value which is 0 by default because I did never damage the bow and now just now I can um, tell how many it should delete 0 because I don't want them to be cleared from my inventory and if I now shoot with a regular bow uh, like I just need a bow like this You see? Oh, that's awkward. Um, its durability is going lower because it does not have the unbreakable tag. And if I use like such a bow, it's never going to reduce its durability. So it's like an infinite amount of unbreaking. And this means its data value is always going to stay at zero, meaning the slash clear command will never fail. That's already about it. Thanks for watching the video. It helps supporting me. I love you all. See you in the next video. Bye.